Hi, I'm Lee Burkeen with Louisiana Football TV Magazine. We have another great show. We're loaded with information. We've got Leo Honeycutt. I don't know how we're going to get everything in. We've got some great pictures of Skip Burtman. He's working on a great piece. We're going to talk about that on Skip Burtman. We have Papa John, Mike, Michael Papa John. He goes by Papa John, who's an actor and also former LSU baseball player back in the day for Skip Burtman. See how that ties in really nice, friends of Leo Honeycutt. We also have Oscar Schoenfeldt, former sports agent. We're going to talk about, we're going to talk about the NCAA rules and also the FBI investigation with uh, basketball that just is ongoing, Leo. And, and also we have his coach, legendary Lee Hedges, calling in from Shreveport. We'll be right back. When you come to Relief Windows, your experience starts here. Or here. Then we come to your home. We measure twice. And then we bring custom windows to your home. We remove your old windows. Install your new windows. Clean our mess. And we make sure you're completely satisfied. And all of this before you pay a dime. And at Relief Windows, our number one product is customer satisfaction. Honey, what's wrong with the disposer? What disposer? Yeah. Frog drain. Call Roto Rooter, America's neighborhood drain expert. Louisiana Office Solutions Company is the complete answer for all your office products and janitorial supply needs. From supplies for school or your home office, to styrofoam cups for your restaurant, to pallets of paper and cleaning supplies for your business. Choose from a large selection of furniture from chairs to desks for office or home, traditional and contemporary styles, or work with our design team to create a complete furniture layout for your building. So call or come by Louisiana Office Solutions Company on Florida at Lobdell, where everyone is welcome. Delta World Tire is 100% committed to making every part of your experience with us hassle-free and pleasant. Whether it's tires, brakes, oil change, or scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire's highest priority is serving you. If you're traveling this season, Delta World Tire is here to help you make sure your vehicle is road ready. If the tire needs replacing, the oil needs changing, or any other scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire wants to make sure you get there. We're Delta World Tire. As you see on the screen, these are our preview magazines. We're still in September, so if you are a mom or dad, grandparent, brother or sister, your relative might be in this preview magazine. We have a North on the right, which I know Leo Honeycutt would love. He's from Monroe. So that's a North Louisiana cover shot at Ruston High School. There you go. And on the left, shot at Walker High School, South Louisiana version. The only difference is the covers. It's kind of like Athlons and Sporting News. A 30 page insert of recruiting that you have to get that are different in each one. A lot of hard work, but a lot of labor of love there for uh, LouisianaFootballMagazine.com. Pick up a copy and uh, who knows, maybe your son's in the magazine and if he's not, he might be a freshman. Maybe when he becomes a sophomore, we'll get him in as he gets more reps. We'll talk about that later. Uh, but I want to introduce our first guest, uh, Leo Honeycutt. Um, you know, I could sit here and talk about the bio. It would take me a couple of months probably to get all of it in. But uh, it's been in the business for a long time as a journalist, a reporter. Too long. Too long. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Award-winning journalist uh, whose credits include CBS, Good morning, America, CNN, and you know him locally on WBRZ-TV. Uh, do you miss the daily reporting, Leo? I got to say no. Okay. I mean, it's, it's, you, it was, um, we had a lot more leeway, I think, back in the day. But, uh, but nowadays, it's so, so much more that you have to cover social platforms, you know, between uh, Facebook and Twitter and everything else so that, uh, that you have to segment up and parcel up and chop up your story so much. I don't know how y'all do it. You kids do it these days because back in the day, it was everything we could do to get a two-minute story out for each day. 
Well, we all have something in common today between me and two guests, and I'm really low on the platform here, but <laughs> Leo Honeycutt made appearances in uh, All My Children and One Life to Live. I gotta admit, I used to watch those when I skipped school because there was <laughs> nothing on TV back then. I don't remember though, Leo, I hate to say what? that, but- What? My mom- You don't just run that on my YouTube? My mom used to watch them really? religiously. Wow. And then uh, Mike Papajohn is an accomplished actor oh, and stuntman. Oh man, he's been with the big boys. I was in one movie as a, as a, right out of high school, JFK. Really? Yeah, JFK, I was an extra, I had one of those 42 second scenes. And uh, Oliver Stone was an interesting guy to hang around with for about three days. And I had another street walking scene with Tommy Lee Jones. Um, he tried to borrow a cigarette from me in between, you know, takes, and that's about it, you know. Really? Wow. Well, so you, so you were there with, uh, what, Kevin Costner? Kevin or? Costner, John Candy, yeah. Sissy Spacek, a wonderful, nice lady. Yeah. Didn't know it was her, and you know how the sets work. You're kind of laying around, and you don't know who's who, maybe, and she's eating cookies or something, offers <laughs> me a cookie, and I'm like, I walk off, and they're like, that was Sissy Spacek. Oh. <laughs> Coal miners, that was, <laughs> that was her. That was her. <laughs> but to get into sports, uh, we're going to talk about the Saints today. Uh, at least I'm going to talk about the Saints. LSU, big win over Auburn. Some stations, when they get this, especially in Shreveport, the game's already been played with Tech. I know Louisiana Tech's coming up. That's going to be a good game with LSU. And uh, your thoughts real quick before we get into Skip Burtman. We've got some great pictures that you've provided us of Skip your thoughts of Ed Orgeron, football coach, LSU. Man, he's the man of the hour, isn't he? Three and zero. Three and zero. And no I mean losses. that that pull there from Auburn. I was just talking yesterday to, to a friend of mine from Auburn, who just is still so chagrined. <laughs> I can't believe you guys pulled that still out. Still angry. I said, you know, talent's talent. So <laughs> right. <laughs> that means the right time, right place, isn't it? That that's what it's all about. Hey, look, I I swear, you know, I was one of those guys that said eight and four before the year. But right before the season, me and a couple of XLSU football players that are my friends, we went to nine and three before the season started. I will say that. <laughs> and they have a chance to go 10 and two, and you know, maybe better. You never know. Great defense. Joe Burrow's the cool hand Luke, mm -hmm. who's only played three games in two years. He's getting better. Uh, the receivers, once they get the timing down, mm -hmm. And Brossett's finally getting a play, and he's looking good, and so is Clyde Edwards Hilaire. And then this Curry kid, I think, is going to get a lot of reps against Tech. The offense, once it gets better, who knows? Maybe they upset a Georgia, and the villain comes to town, yeah. Alabama. So maybe, yep. uh, maybe that'll happen too. But I want to get into Skip Burtman, and Leo's been hanging out with Skip quite a bit the last well, that's three years. Three years, mm -hmm. trying to get a, uh, a book that's not finished, but close to being finished. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, I have, I've already had to chop out 200 pages. We've got some pictures uh, <laughs> and some good pictures that you've provided us of Skip as a young boy. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. Never seen that before. Yeah, that's a Skip going into high school. And Skip, by the way, played football in high school. So uh, he, uh, and he got a shoulder injury, which is part of the reason why he really put all of his his time and effort into coaching. He always wanted to be a coach. The next one is uh, Skip as a player. That's right, for Miami, for Miami Beach. Miami. Miami wow, Beach. look at those old jerseys. Yep. There's, yep. No, there's no red, there's no green. No, no, and, and Skip uh, oh. really was taken under the wing by a guy named Max Sapper, who was an ex-lawyer who decided to become a baseball coach in uh, Flamingo Park there in Miami Beach. And, uh, and so he started spending a lot of time with Skip and showing him Wow. What the ropes were. This is Skip as head coach of Miami Beach High School. Yep, that was 1970 when they wow. won the Florida State Championship. Mickey Rourke was on one of these teams. That's right. That's what Mike That's mentioned. Right. Mike said that, uh, and uh, there's a couple other actors too that he would mention, but also uh, head coach of the Miami Hurricanes. Yep. yep. People and, forget that. Yep, and people also don't remember that he was destined to become the head coach of the Miami Beach Hurricanes, but I mean, uh, uh, University of Miami Hurricanes. Ron Frazier, that guy right there on the right, Ron Frazier was his mentor when he got to the university, and Ron was a big marketer. He was the first person. In fact, he's called the father of college baseball marketing. To get it going. And, yeah. and so that's, and he learned a lot, you know, from, from, from Ron. But the deal was, is Ron was supposed to go to uh, become athletic director at the University of Miami. And one day, Skip is out coaching. He's out uh, practicing the team. 
and a runner comes to get him and says, uh, Coach Snellenberger, who was the head of the football program, wants to see you now. Mm. And so he said, well, what's he want to see me about? So anyway, so he runs up to Schnellenberger's office, and Schnellenberger says, look, I read here where you were, you were uh, uh, going to LSU and you did an interview. And he said, take the job. And, and <laughs> Bertman says, why? 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 And he said, because Ron Frazier is never going to be athletic director. Whoa. Hey, we're going to share some more. That's, that's, that's back in the beginning. Pitcher Skip is the head coach at LSU. Yep. We're going to have more on Skip when we come back. We're going to bring Leo back in the show. We've got Oscar Schoenfeld. Next up, Michael Papajohn, great guy. We're going to talk about his career from, foot, from baseball player to actor, stuntman. We'll be right back. Finally got me, Ben. What's that, Rick? The Clark Street Crater, the mother of all potholes. For decades, it's tormented the people of this town. <laughs> they try to fill it, but it always returns. <laughs> got me good. But you know, State Farm's got you, too. You ain't nothing! Are you trash-talking a pothole? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call or visit State Farm agent Bill Barkas in Baton Rouge today. Delta World Tire is 100% committed to making every part of your experience with us hassle-free and pleasant. Whether it's tires, brakes, oil change, or scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire's highest priority is serving you. If you're traveling this season, Delta World Tire is here to help you make sure your vehicle is road ready. If the tire needs replacing, the oil needs changing, or any other scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire wants to make sure you get there. We're Delta World Tire. Well, it finally happened, Zachary. Somebody burned down my she shed. Nobody burned down your she shed, Cheryl. Well, my she shed's on fire. Your she shed was struck by lightning. Zachary, is my she shed covered by State Farm? Your she shed's covered, Cheryl. You hear that, Victor? I'm getting a new she she or she shed. She she? Mm-hmm. That's wonderful news. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call or visit State Farm agent David Bryan in Walker today. When you come to Relief Windows, your experience starts here. Or here. Then we come to your home. We measure twice. And then we bring custom windows to your home. We remove your old windows. Install your new windows. Clean our mess. And we make sure you're completely satisfied. And all of this before you pay a dime. And at Relief Windows, our number one product is customer satisfaction. <laughs> started a football team. Give you a good chance to throw people on the ground, hurt them like you used to when you were a kid. I think Papa John's their safety. <laughs> hey, Sasquatch! <laughs> oh, it's got a waste of time. Hey. Come with me because you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. Wow. I tell you what, uh, that's, that looks rough, Mike. <laughs> um, it, felt, it felt rough, you know. But Mike, Cameron Diaz, it's nicer to be in a room with her yeah, than yeah. it is the yeah. other big guy. Mike Papa John, thanks for joining us, Mike. Thanks, thanks for having me, Lee. You go by Poppy or Papa John? Uh, Papa, well, mainly my last name now, Papa John. Most people call me by my last name. Played baseball at LSU for the legendary Skip Burtman in the beginning, like before all the national championships. And you, I didn't know this, but you told me off the air that you were the first batter ever for LSU in the World Series. The, and you said you were nervous. Oh, yeah, yeah. I actually uh, faced Lola Marymount pitcher. He threw a slider to me I've never seen. It was a really bad, bad swing. Started breathing heavy, walking back to the dugout. Thought about my high school coach, Birmingham, letting down the LSU fans and had a total panic attack. And Coach Bertman helped. <laughs> he talked me through it and sent me back out there. So, From the, from the Birmingham, uh, Alabama area originally, went to junior college, played baseball at LSU, uh, had a great career. Tell everybody the story how you got into being a stuntman and 
being Adam Sandler's stunt double and uh, Bobby Boucher. You were Bobby Boucher as the stunt guy. I'm real proud of that. That job about killed me. I was 34. <laughs> uh, you know, actually, I need some H2O right now. But uh, uh, no, I uh, I was a senior at LSU. It was the last semester. They shot everybody's all American. They were looking for LSU athletes to uh, be part of the football team. Uh, so, and they. Uh, they said they'd pay me more if I took football hits. So I had $11 in my checking account. So I said, I'll take some football hits. And Taylor Hackford really pulled me off the side and said, hey, Papa John, the director, said, Papa John, you're athletic and a, a good guy. I think you should move out to Hollywood and be a stuntman. Who is your favorite actor to work with out of all the movies? Who's the favorite nice person? Um, you know, is there several or? every every film kind of has a story like your your yeah, story, yeah. you know, which was yours is a lot shorter than mine. <laughs> right. That's a joke, Lee. Right. Um, I got and uh, but you know, uh, I, I always go to uh, kind of like Spider Man. It was like uh, Skip helped me get for love of the game through Augie Garrido, a film that really changed my career. The late Augie, yeah, just uh, yeah, <laughs> just saw him uh, a few few weeks before he passed away. So uh, he was a very instrumental, but Skip. Uh, talked to Augie about For Love of the Game, got me that part, which got me Spider-Man, and that opened, or where I killed Uncle Ben, and that opened up a lot of bad guy roles to me. So LSU and Coach Bertman's really warped speed in my career in a lot of ways. Uh, currently working on some other stuff, too. You said you, you uh, currently are working with Skip as well. Yeah, I'm actually doing a, a documentary on Coach Bertman, so I've got, this, you know, I've interviewed over 70 players. Uh, we've kind of got a theme this comedians in cars getting coffee where I just pick them up and we drive around okay. Baton Rouge and we just talk shop and uh, I'm very excited to tell that story and leave his legacy. Uh, what do you think of LSU football? I know you played baseball. Are you a big football fan too? Oh absolutely man I believe purple and gold. Yeah I watch every play and I'm just I'm real excited you know even watching the Auburn LSU game uh, last weekend with my son and and uh, I, I totally get into it. Yes, absolutely. We were talking off the air. You, you made Baton Rouge home, not just part-time, like a lot of actors live in California, or they might have a, uh, maybe another house in Baton Rouge, but this is your permanent home. Yeah, I bought a home like a mile from uh, uh, Tiger Stadium, and what's really cool about that is I've been here five years, and the tax incentives are coming back, and you know I can travel and work, but this is my home. I love to fish, and uh, my son's in fourth grade, and my wife loves it here, and I plan on staying and, and then travel and working when I have to. What, what is your biggest thing that you miss about college baseball? Is there anything that just... I miss the old Alex Box Stadium. I miss <laughs> hearing the, the cleats on the cement, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, the new stadiums, that's what you have to do to recruit now. I understand that. The big, but nice, this Me and Coach and Bourbon took a little drive through the, where the old Alex okay. Box was, and he got to talk, and... And I said, yeah, that, that ball Jeff King hit off Willie Forbes, that straight changeup is still going. And we started laughing about the memories and uh, the, railroad, uh, the railroad tracks and everything else. Uh, we're going to take a break, Mike. We're going to bring you back on. We're going to have everybody on in the last three segments. Next, we have Oscar Schoenfeld. Uh, don't go too far, Mike. We're going to bring Mike back. We've got plenty to talk about. We're going to try and get it all in in one hour. we still got our recruit of the week, who's Ray Parker from Ruston. Mike, this kid's six foot six, two ninety, runs a four six forty in Ruston High School, tight end. We'll be right back. Delta World Tire is 100% committed to making every part of your experience with us hassle-free and pleasant. Whether it's tires, brakes, oil change, or scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire's highest priority is serving you. If you're traveling this season, Delta World Tire is here to help you make sure your vehicle is road ready. If the tire needs replacing, the oil needs changing, or any other scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire wants to make sure you get there. We're Delta World Tire. Handling a gator like this can be scary, and this is pretty risky too. But do you know what's really dangerous? Dealing with the insurance company after your car wreck. If you've been injured, get a fighter. That's why you need to call me. I'm not afraid to handle them, and I'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. So if you've been hurt, hire a professional. Just call me. Get it done. Get Gordon. Get it done. Call 888-8888 or go to getgordon.com. 
Louisiana Office Solutions Company is the complete answer for all your office products and janitorial supply needs. From supplies for school or your home office, to styrofoam cups for your restaurant, to pallets of paper and cleaning supplies for your business. Choose from a large selection of furniture from chairs to desks for office or home, traditional and contemporary styles, or work with our design team to create a complete furniture layout for your building. So call or come by Louisiana Office Solutions Company on Florida at Lobdell, where everyone is welcome. Finally got me, Ben. What's that, Rick? The Clark Street Crater, the mother of all potholes. For decades, it's tormented the people of this town. <laughs> they find a fill it, but it always returns. <laughs> got me good. But you know, State Farm's got you, too. You ain't nothing! Are you trash talking a pothole? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call or visit State Farm agent Jim Crane in Baton Rouge today. The money in the bag. Thanks. It's over. Just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. What about my uncle? Did you give him a chance? Did you? See ya. Between me and ugly. That was a heck of a. Uh, uh, you was watching this Oscar with Mike Papa John. All the oh yeah, it was had. very interesting. Really uh, had a great career and a lot of interesting things happened to him. The Oscar Schoenfeld. Thanks for joining us, Oscar. I'm always my pleasure, Lee. Uh, known you for a long time, and uh, uh, you at one time you were representing a lot of NBA players a lot of NFL players, and we, I wanted to talk to you about uh, this investigation or the, in, the way things are going now with recruiting and rules, but we have some stuff we want to put up uh, that me and Oscar want to talk about when the, with the NCA. Right. And your thoughts on this. Well, I guess what we give the, uh, a little bit of background as far as, um, I don't know we're going to put these. Yeah. The, we, the, it's going to come up. <laughs> anyway, uh, so what we're looking at basically is what's happening within recruiting and then the NSA regulations and as far as what players can and can't do as far as their likeness. As, we, as I think most of the people know that there's been a lot of uh, lit litigation in uh, O'Banion case, which came out of California, which uh, gave the players additional rights as far as... Ed O'Bannon, former UCLA player. Right. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it was a very complicated, long case, and the bottom line is that it ended up giving the players some extra, uh, enough spending money to uh, cover all their cost, and these are uh, allocated uh, by the schools now. Uh, subsequently, uh, there was an FBI investigation, which basically was, uh, coincidentally, they found out about the, a lot of bribery and kickbacks going on in uh, college basketball, which is, you know, I, I had six or seven guys in the NBA, and um, basically uh, they arrested the head of global uh, marketing for Adidas, uh, a young agent, uh, four assistant coaches were indicted. I think that case is going to be tried in the Southern District of New York coming mm. up, which should be very interesting. Mm. But all this was going on back when I was an agent. It wasn't, it's, this is anything new as right. far as shoe companies, money being involved, uh, players being paid uh, to go different places. So this is the kind of things we had as, a, as an agent, I had to, uh, was, I had to try to overcome and, and act yeah. honestly and reputably. But I mean, you, you had Doran Hamm, you had Stanley Roberts, you had Rufus Porter with the Saints, you had uh, Willie, uh, uh, Willie, Williams. Willie with the Toronto Argonauts, yeah. who was playing with Doug Flutie. We go on and on and on the clients you had, but, do you see this uh, spilling into football? Do you see that, that, that this could possibly hit football like it did basketball? Oh, I, I, think there's, I think there's a big difference between basketball and football in the sense that kids are much younger when you can identify them as players. So you have a lot of this AAU and you have these kids that are being recruited when literally they're probably 13 or 14 years old. I mean, everyone knew that Shaq was going to be, be a player, LeBron was going to be a player. So 
Football doesn't tend to do that as much. You don't have very, that many Leonard Fournettes, those kind of people that can come out as, as elite athletes. I can speak for that. There's uh, not uh, many uh, Leonard's. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we've all enjoyed having him in here, and he was a great player. So I, I can't see as far as – but there is a lot of, you know, of under uh, money going under the table and that kind of thing, recruiting. And I don't know how far they're going to be able to go with this case uh, this, uh, as far as in basketball. But the, the point is that as a result of this, the Rice Commission was created, which came up with some recommendation as to basketball players, which we had it up there a while ago, saying that even like when you're in high school, if you're an elite player and you qualify, you can, you can contact an agent that represents you. That is sort of done now in, in, ho in ho college hockey as well as baseball. As you know, in baseball, yeah. players can come out and be drafted and they can contact Right out agent. of high school, yeah. Right, and you have a lot of issues from a litigation point of view or of uh, equal protection and that. Why, why, why can a baseball player do it and a, and a basketball player can't? Uh, I think ultimately the Rice Commission uh, put a little pressure on the NCA to, to loosen up and allow these agents to be hired. Oscar, I think a question that I would be speaking for the people uh, and I hear it, and personally, I do not like agents talking to high school or college kids during the World Series, like the day before, or texting, you know, where they're drafted during the game. You know, the guy's trying to bat. They're trying to, like, win a game to continue to be in the, in the World Series, and they're getting texts from, hey, he's getting drafted. So I, I hate where the draft's at for baseball. I hate that it's oh, I agree with the that. weekend of Omaha. And I, I'm going to ask Papa John when he comes back on the show, but it's why can't they do that and work with colleges? Why are they working against their well, own sport? Well, I don't really think from a, from a baseball point of view, I'm, I'm not the biggest baseball fan. Right. I'm a huge LSU right, baseball right. fan, and I do follow, I hate to admit it, the New York Yankees. I'm a, I'm a Yankees fan, I was born fan in too. New York, yeah. but I think they're going to probably have to work out that in, in college, and, and the professionals need to, to work together, like you're saying. And that's kind of what this uh, – there's a lot of ramifications here. You have, uh, as far as just legally, you have state laws regulating agents, but mm -hmm. they're not really that enforced. How many, how many agents have actually been prosecuted by a state for any kind of infraction? Well, here's a couple of questions to you. I would uh, say none. Yeah. <laughs> What are your thoughts of an agent also being the financial person? Well, I think that's an obvious conflict of interest. But to see, part of the thing is just like basketball coaches and football coaches want control, agents want control. Right. Do you want your player getting close to a financial guy? So you want to keep that financial guidance in house a lot of times, which could be disastrous. I mean, we think about Tank Black, uh, right. the agent who lost uh, you know millions of dollars for players, but. When I was doing it, I always had independent guys come and talk. I mean, I, I knew them. And then you also, as an agent, have a fiduciary duty to make sure if you recommend someone financially, you know what, if they're any good or not. You, uh, can't, you can't recommend your brother-in-law who you know, doesn't know anything about finance to, to, right. to work with one of your <laughs> right. players, or you're going to get sued. Right. Um, and he should be. In, yeah. in segment five, when we bring Oscar back with Papa John and Leo Honeycutt, talk before we go to the break uh, – Reminisce about your coach, the legendary Lee Hedges, who's going to be calling in, who coached you at Captain Shreve. Any thoughts on Coach Hedges? Uh, well, I, I think, and this is a, something I always wanted to, to say about high school players and particularly about uh, coaches that go out there and coach. A lot of these guys become father figures. And, and, I, and I realized I went to my 46th high school reunion over the weekend, and I'm looking at everybody, I realized I spent most of my time in high school with football players. Yeah, and with, and with coaches. I mean, we practiced, you know, 24/7 uh, all all during the, the year. So we spent a lot of time with. And the coach was a guy you could really look up to, and really made a difference in your life, and could inspire you. And Coach Hedges certainly did that for hundreds and even thousands of young men in North Louisiana. He even he even coached Terry Bradshaw. He coached Terry Bradshaw, and I'm sure that's why he won those Super Bowls. So yeah, and and you were teammates of Bo Harris, who played for the Bengals at Captain Shreve. Roland Harper, who played for the Bears. Roland, You're on a good team at guy. Captain Shreve. Well, we went. We only lost two games in 70 and 71 and lost in the quarterfinals and the semifinals. And I, I still remember every game, and so does Coach Hedges. Well, we're going to have Coach Hedges in segment five call in. We've got about 30 seconds left. We're going to bring Oscar back. But any final thoughts about the, the gray area of, of being an agent today? Any, any final thoughts? 
We got about 30 well, seconds. I don't think there's I any, mean, as far as being a gray area, it's just probably one of the, and I have to tell people, it's one of the most corrupt businesses in the world because you're dealing with money, you're dealing with young kids, or you're dealing with a lot of money. And anytime that formula is there, uh, you can have a lot of problems. And actually, I've just finished uh, a book. I wasn't going to bring this out today, <laughs> but it's not, uh -oh. it's, it talks a little bit about this, but it's also you can get a chance for relationships. And that's kind of yeah. what I enjoyed about it, relationships with Stanley and Irvin and Rufus Porter and those all the, and Willie and guys that I still keep up with. Mickey and like, Gidry and Mickey, those guys. I saw Mickey the other day are really kind of like part of my family. So I thank, really enjoyed it. Thank you, Oscar. We'll bring you back in the next segment. We're going to have everybody. And then Coach Lee Hedges, for all our Shreveport Bozier audience, uh, he'll be calling in from Shreveport, a former coach of Captain Shreve, Bird, was at Woodlawn, all over. I mean, this man is coach for many, many years. We'll be back in just a moment. Louisiana Office Solutions Company is the complete answer for all your office products and janitorial supply needs. From supplies for school or your home office, to styrofoam cups for your restaurant, to pallets of paper and cleaning supplies for your business. Choose from a large selection of furniture from chairs to desks for office or home, traditional and contemporary styles, or work with our design team to create a complete furniture layout for your building. So call or come by Louisiana Office Solutions Company on Florida at Lobdell, where everyone is welcome. Delta World Tire is 100% committed to making every part of your experience with us hassle-free and pleasant. Whether it's tires, brakes, oil change, or scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire's highest priority is serving you. If you're traveling this season, Delta World Tire is here to help you make sure your vehicle is road ready. If the tire needs replacing, the oil needs changing, or any other scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire wants to make sure you get there. We're Delta World Tire. Handling a gator like this can be scary, and this is pretty risky too. But do you know what's really dangerous? Dealing with the insurance company after your car wreck. If you've been injured, get a fighter. That's why you need to call me. I'm not afraid to handle them, and I'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. So if you've been hurt, hire a professional. Just call me. Get it done. Get Gordon. Get it done. Call 888-8888 or go to getgordon.com. When you come to Relief Windows, your experience starts here. Or here. Then we come to your home. We measure twice. And then we bring custom windows to your home. We remove your old windows. Install your new windows. Clean our mess. And we make sure you're completely satisfied. And all of this before you pay a dime. And at Relief Windows, our number one product is customer satisfaction. Relief. Welcome back, Lee Burkeen, Louisiana Football Magazine. I have three great guests. I got a former legendary agent, uh, a current actor, and one of the, the best authors out there that's writing books, and one of the former, not, not former, but current journalists, still in the business, Leo Honeycutt. Sort of. Uh, from Monroe, <laughs> Louisiana. Funroe, as we Fun call it. Funroe, Funroe. So have you been back to Monroe anytime? Lately? Uh, any? My parents still live there, so yes, I have to go up there and get chided quite often. Good son. Good, good son, son. going back good son to see. Thing, yeah. uh, Papa John, your thoughts, I brought up with Oscar about the draft, MLB draft. It's around Omaha. I mean, isn't that kind of a bad time? To, what's your thoughts on that? Well, my thoughts, I just mentioned earlier about my panic attack. So there's a lot of pressure, uh, to say the least. And I, I don't know how the players do it today with the Instagram and the social media. Mm. And there's no I in team type Coach Burtman thing. And and I, it's, um, it's a different different uh different animal and i would love to see the draft not during omaha and let them focus on winning that championship were there cell no. phones in the dugout back then uh no <laughs> <laughs> now every kid's on a yeah. cell phone like yeah. it used to be just eating peanuts or spitting right. out dip or whatever now it's cell phone twittering and mm -hmm. yeah it's crazy about, yeah you have a hundred thousand instagram followers and then you want to tweet out a photo of yourself on the, in the dugout. Can't the coach control yeah, that? Yeah. I mean, as far as no cell phones in the dugout? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Mike would know more about that. but I don't know anything about <laughs> tweeting a photo during a game. I know nothing I about yeah. it. Uh, it seems like so many distractions, though. We just keep getting more and more distractions. 
How does anybody stay focused on a game? Uh, I want to throw this out, changing the subject, out a little curveball. The Saints, uh, they're 1-1. One and one. They're not 0-2, 0-3, 0-4. When I was growing up, they were like 1 in 15. That was the, in the 70s, you know. And people don't remember. They were bad in the 70s, and then they won a Super Bowl. So if you're in the generation of, I guess, you know, 35 and under, you've never seen the Saints have those bad seasons. But we all saw that growing up. I saw it all Maybe the time. in Alabama, too. You know, there's no pro team in Alabama, right? No no pro team. There used to be the World Football League. World Football League. You Birmingham know, Stats. Ameri yeah, Birmingham Vulcans. That was yeah. a long time ago. Bob Lane was a quarterback. Of. Well, we had Zonka. We had some players. Oh, that's yeah. before Bob. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's. Yeah. I didn't Bob even Lane. know about that league. Yeah. That's yeah. before my time. I'm sorry about that, Mike. <laughs> But, uh, Oscar, you follow the Saints. I mean, they're doing great again. Well, they're I actually have to say I was raised in Shreveport, as you know, and everyone in Shreveport was a Dallas fan. That's right. And we had I to hear about that. Dallas, and my dad and I said, we're going to go with the Saints. And then we, we drove over for, I think it was a Dallas Saints game right when the first year, and I think they ended up losing in the last minute, the Saints did. And from then on, it was like – Loss after loss after loss, and my dad moved to New Orleans, and he ended up getting season tickets. But I've been following the Saints for years, and my, my brother particularly follows the Saints. I was an Archie Manning fan growing up because Archie was the quarterback, and my dad took me to my first game in 1977. They played Burt Jones from LSU Ooh. and the Colts. And the Colts, they weren't very good back then, but we liked Burt. I like Roger Carr. That was from the Monroe area, you know, and so – we got our car towed after the game. <laughs> it got home at four in the morning, but loved every minute of the Saints experience. I loved Archie, now Drew Brees. I mean, what he's done for the Saints, the city of New Orleans is incredible. And here he Leo. is, what, 40? Um, yeah, at 40, almost right? 40. Yeah, I think he's 38, 39. Somewhere. Tom Brady's 41. Yep, that's right. And he said he would do well. And, and look, they're one and one. Uh, Jacksonville beat them pretty bad the other day. I don't know if New England's going to be good this year. Mike, any – you got any yeah. NFL thoughts? I, I lo any? Well, I love Kenny Stabler when he went to the oh, Saints. How yeah. old was he then? I mean, I don't know. 45? <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my great memory. Alabama native. There Absolutely. you go. Absolutely. I, I grew up a Bear Bryant fan. Listen, I was uh, seven, eight, nine years old running around Alabama dreaming – uh, of being Johnny Musso. Uh, well, you can say Bear Bryant, just yeah. the other name right now yeah. is not popular yeah. in Louisiana. But, yeah, uh, yeah I, I, I remember the, the game that stands out to me with LSU, and Mike, you would remember this, it's a 1982 game in Alabama. Paul Bear Bryant's last year, LSU beats them. Uh, they had Walter Lewis at quarterback. Uh, right. They had a great defense, Cornelius Bennett. They had some great line, Derek Thomas. Um, and LSU had a, a freshman named Dalton Hilliard. Yeah. And a freshman named Gary James. And yeah. they, they held him to like 32 yards of offense. That was unheard of against the Bear. Yeah. And yeah. Louisiana shut down for about a week <laughs> in 82. And ESPN, it was one of their first games. Isn't that something? 82 was one of the I first years that. of ESPN. Yeah. yeah, I remember that too. People think ESPN was ever – young guys, it started in 82 – to now, but not the 70s. We had three channels growing up, right? Yeah. And that yeah. was all you had, too. That's it. And you had to mess with the rabbit ears to be able to get them. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> yeah. um, I want to mention the high schools that are surprises. We've got a lot of parents that watch the show all over the state, but Acadiana and Lafayette had a big win earlier in the year against Ruston. Uh, they've got a new coach, McCullough, who replaced Coach Davidson, who was there for 33 years. Um, Parkway and, and Bossier City is doing really well. The post uh, Rogers Terrace Marshall era. Uh, Ponchatoula, Hank Turney's doing a great job. They put up 66 points on Denham Springs two weeks ago. Ooh, it was 66 wow. to 61. That's a lot of baseballs. And then uh, St. John of Plaquemine, great team, I think, locally in Baton Rouge. North DeSoto beat a great Manny team. If you're keeping up, those are two. Real good programs. And Catholic High Baton Rouge, I think, is surprising people. They beat Zachary this year already, and uh, they're just as good, I think. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk to Mike Papajohn again, Leo Honeycutt, and Oscar Schoenfeld, and also we're going to have Coach Lee Hedges call into the show pretty soon. We'll be right back.
Honey, what's wrong with the disposer? What disposer? Frog drain. Call Roto Rooter, America's neighborhood drain expert. When you come to Relief Windows, your experience starts here. Or here. Then we come to your home. We measure twice. And then we bring custom windows to your home. We remove your old windows. Install your new windows. Clean our mess. And we make sure you're completely satisfied. And all of this before you pay a dime. And at Relief Windows, our number one product is customer satisfaction. Relief Windows! Well, it finally happened, Zachary. Somebody burned down my she shed. Nobody burned down your she shed, Cheryl. Well, my she shed's on fire. Your she shed was struck by lightning. Zachary, is my she shed covered by State Farm? Your she shed's covered, Cheryl. You hear that, Victor? I'm getting a new she she or she shed. She shear? Mm-hmm. That's wonderful news. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call or visit State Farm agent David Wilcox in Gonzales today. Handling a gator like this can be scary. And this is pretty risky too. But do you know what's really dangerous? Dealing with the insurance company after your car wreck. If you've been injured, get a fighter. That's why you need to call me. I'm not afraid to handle them, and I'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. So if you've been hurt, hire a professional. Just call me. Get it done. Get Gordon. Get it done. Call 888-8888 or go to getgordon.com. Welcome back. Lee Burkane, Louisiana Football TV Magazine. Uh, I want to welcome to the show a legendary high school coach, one of the all-time greats, Lee Hedges. Lee, thanks for joining us. Yeah, appreciate you asking me. Um, uh, anytime I can talk about football, I'd be glad to. Thank you very much. Coach, I met you several times at uh, Captain Shreve High School. You have, have, have been a coach for several years. And uh, can you tell everybody you played at LSU back in the day? You, what years? Tell everybody the years you played at LSU in football. Uh, well, uh, I'm just happy to, you know, to be a part of part of all of it. You know, I've uh, coached for about 30 years and had some great principals, coaches, faculty, what have you. A lot of support all all these years, but uh, I admire the coaches today. They have a, uh, a few different Did problems, you know? but they're all doing a good job. Uh, Coach, we have one of your former players here in studio, Oscar Schoenfeld. Oscar? Coach hey, Hedges. Coach. Oscar, how are you doing? I enjoyed my visit a little while back. Y'all come back. Yeah, I enjoyed talking to you about some of the old games and the, some of the former players. Uh, I guess uh, Lee was going to ask you, uh, do you remember playing for, when you played for LSU? you remember the years? I, I, I have to apologize. I can't, I can't understand everything you're saying. Yeah, yeah, it's probably the phone. We've, uh, but, but back in the uh, in the forties. I think uh, he played. Uh, yes, and, and back with a lot of great players, coach. And you've seen everything change from the forties to today. And uh, I remember just about five years ago seeing Coach Hedges coaching at Captain Shreve, helping with the team still. And uh, uh, any memories, coach, with Terry Bradshaw? I mean, I know that you played a role in his in his life as a coach. Well, uh, Terry, had, you know, he had a lot of talent. He only played one year, but he made his mark through about 21 touchdown passes and went to the finals. And then, of course, Joel Thomas at three through 35 touchdown passes in 1973 when we, uh, we won the state championship. But that's not the big thing. I remember as a lineman, you know, like yourself, that on the practice plan, the first part of it after a warm up was right and left shoulder block. That went out a long time ago. <laughs> hey, that's funny, Coach. <laughs> You're right. Because of the size and, and uh, the players are blocking nowadays, and the rules have changed so much as far as holding. Back when I played, you could only you could uh, had to have your uh, hand almost on your chest to block. But there's a lot of changes taken place and since I played football it seemed like a hundred years ago but it's still football yeah there's still kids that want to play and uh, have the right attitude and 
and uh, you know, win, lose, or draw. The coaches are doing a good job uh, on the sportsmanship side of it, and the safety angle is, is getting a lot of publicity nowadays, which I think is good because back. Well, I don't want to go too far back, but uh, <laughs> we, had, we, had, we had great doctors, but we had very little uh, training help. Yeah. Uh, it was all on the coaches, but they're changing that as much as they can, I think, nowadays. And yeah. Looking after them, but anyway. Uh, yeah. Coach, um, you, you were around Joe Ferguson, who played for the Buffalo Bills at Woodlawn, and uh, also Terry Bradshaw, several other ones, but also uh, Bo Harris, you coached the Captain Shreve and Roland Harper and yeah. this gentleman. Uh, any any memories of Captain Shreve? A uh, lot of great teams at Captain Shreve. Oh yeah, well we we probably if we'd have had a little better coach, we could have won about three championships in a row back when Roland Harper and Bo Harris and uh, Mike Mark and those kids. That, uh, this is know, Oscar actually as an old lineman. <laughs> what? We we had some great players and they were great kids and uh, we fell short and lost on first downs and all that. We lost we lost one game at Woodlawn in the playoff on first downs and we lost uh, the you know the one at Sulphur on first downs and that they changed that rule, which uh, as a nightmare uh, we've lost them on on that. We won one on uh, on. Uh, LSU pitcher. Overtime, you know, but uh, hmm. at least they're trying to do it right. Uh, and uh, I don't know, it's changed so much. Uh, the whole uh, playoff system is completely different now than it was several years back, you know. And I can recall at three, but I think one year we won eight and lost two and didn't make the playoffs. Yeah. You know, because you had to be a district champion. But uh, it gives them an opportunity. It's just it's a pretty tough goal, you know, for some of them. But it gives kids an opportunity to play some more and uh, coaches to coach. Well, Coach, thank you for joining us. And we were glad to show all the old pictures of, of you at LSU and some of the Captain Shree photos over the years. It was really good to have you. And thank you for, for being on our show today. Thank you, Coach. Well, I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Come that see was us. Okay. That was, all right. That was Lee Hedges, and it was. It's good to see those pictures. Yeah, I, I don't. I think you know when Mike was talking about Coach Burtman, and you talk about Coach Hedges. Uh, again, that gets back to the relationship that develops between players and their and their and their coaches. It's it's amazing. It's it's a really a tight bond. It's something I think it's hard yeah. to describe, and yeah. unless you've actually played. A sport and participate yeah. in it. You, uh, uh, my, the Wright L's he was wearing reminded me of high school coach Buddy Anderson, the State Hills High School. He's coached over 40 years. Wow, uh, was my head coach, and wow. uh, I had some great high school coaches and uh, mentors, and really changed my life and shaped my life. And I'll always, uh, I feel like I know Coach Hedges. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't play for him. But my man yeah. here was getting emotional because it means yeah. a lot to him. Yeah. You're a Gator, man. No, I was a Gator. 68. And no, right? people no, don't realize that, you know, he's in a suit, agent, but he was an offensive lineman. Right. Well, one thing, Coach, I remember Coach, every practice, at the end of the practice, he'd always say, everybody up. And we'd all get there. He'd, <laughs> he'd talk to us. And uh, so, yeah, it, football really changed my life. So it was really important to me and I, we appreciate everything that he did for us all, all the players great great moment uh we'll be back for segment six we've got everybody back we're going to try and find that mickey mantle picture that leo provided us so let's try and find that picture of the yankees and if not we're going to talk about it we've got more when we come back Delta World Tire is 100% committed to making every part of your experience with us hassle-free and pleasant. Whether it's tires, brakes, oil change, or scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire's highest priority is serving you. If you're traveling this season, Delta World Tire is here to help you make sure your vehicle is road ready. If the tire needs replacing, the oil needs changing, or any other scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire wants to make sure you get there. We're Delta World Tire. When you come to Relief Windows, your experience starts here. Or here. Then we come to your home. We measure twice. And then we bring custom windows to your home. 
We remove your old windows. Install your new windows. Clean our mess. And we make sure you're completely satisfied. And all of this before you pay a dime. And at Relief Windows, our number one product is customer satisfaction. Relief Windows! Honey, what's wrong with the disposer? What disposer? Yeah. Frog drain. Call Roto Rooter, America's neighborhood drain expert. <sighs> Finally got me, Ben. What's that, Rick? The Clark Street Crater, the mother of all potholes. For decades, it's tormented the people of this town. <laughs> they find it good, but it always returns. <laughs> got me good. But you know, State Farm's got you, too. You ain't nothing! Are you trash talking a pothole? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call or visit State Farm agent Bill Barkas in Baton Rouge today. Family a gator like this can be scary. And this is pretty risky, too. But do you know it's really dangerous? Dealing with the insurance company after your car wreck. If you've been injured, get a fighter. That's why you need to call me. I'm not afraid to handle them, and I'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. So if you've been hurt, hire a professional. Just call me. Get it done. Get Gordon. Get it done. Call 888-8888 or go to getgordon.com. Welcome back. Lee Burkeen, Louisiana Football TV Magazine. I want to go back to... Uh, Leo Honeycutt to talk about Skip Bertman and the book they're working on and also uh, Papa John's working on a documentary too with Skip and Leo any thoughts about the book? Well again? everybody's been talking about how the coaches really have have impacted their lives and if you can get in a team sport you should be there because it does sort of give a kid direction and then that direction lasts forever just like a good teacher does. Yeah. And Skip changed so many lives. He changed the course of so many lives for the for the good. Uh, everybody that I've talked to that's played for him is just, they can't say enough good about what this guy's done. Mike, any thoughts on that? Uh... Total trailblazer. And uh, I remember his first speech in right field. He uh, transferred from Gulf Coast Community College and Coach Burtman's first speech was corporate sponsorship, the signs, you know, making sure he wins so his daughters can go to college, uh, pay his college tuition. <laughs> but then he uh, really talked about getting the seven and eight, nine-year-olds to know what Omaha was. And uh, I was like, we haven't even been to Omaha yet. And, uh, <laughs> right. and then you go to the Dick Sporting Goods, you see the Omaha gloves now, and that's all because of Coach Bertman. And that's uh, pretty cool. Um, I left out an actor that Skip Bertman coached at Miami Beach. Who was the other one? Uh, Mickey Rourke and... Uh, Andy Garcia. And Andy Garcia, two big-time actors. Mm. Hey, Luther Campbell from Two Life Crew, too. Mm. So that's another story. Wow. Three. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael Papajohn, right? Okay. And Michael, what, four, yeah. yeah. Uh, you were wanting to say something about I was coaching. just going to say, for example, and uh, uh, as I say, I've written this book, but, uh, you know, Irvin Johnson, I think people know his story. He played 13 years in the NBA. He was one of my uh, best clients, and uh, he grew up in Jonesville. From a very humble family and went to Baton Rouge and worked in a grocery store for two years and uh, after those two years he grew eight inches but uh, he went to LSU and tried to walk on there uh, he felt like God wanted him to play basketball and they had Stack, uh, Shaq and Stanley mm. and then he went to UNO and it was the last day of recruiting and Tim Floyd was in his office and they said there's a guy named Irvin Johnson here he wants to play basketball and he's 6'11 Floyd's like, oh, no way, you know, and he walks out and there's Irvin, and Irvin, uh, Tim goes, uh, Irvin, where'd you play high school basketball? And Irvin goes, I didn't play, coach. And he says, oh, really? He says, well, run the parking lot. So he, <laughs> Irvin ran the parking lot, and he could see Irvin was kind of athletic, but Irvin yeah. couldn't dribble. He didn't yeah. know what a drop step was, but Coach Floyd gave him a chance and put him on a scholarship, and uh, Irvin had to sit there and, you know, go through that first year, and then after that year, uh, Coach Floyd said, uh, Irvin, I think I'm going to send you to junior college. And Irvin just looked at him with a tear in his eye and said, Coach, just give me a little more time. And Coach Floyd really gave him that time, and he became a first-round NBA draft. If it wasn't so for Coach Floyd. That, that's how, yeah, that's how a coach yeah. can impact you know, these, uh, someone's life. So. I, I remember going to Skip uh, just because I really had 
admired him and, and, and I just started my magazine and I said, Coach, I want to do a baseball magazine. And we did one. We did four of them. We just couldn't get off the ground, Mike. Yeah. We tried. But I said, could I get you on the cover? He said, yeah. We got to do it here. I said, let's do it at Alex's spot. Let's do it here. He said, oh, my, yeah. Can we get the other coaches in the state to be on the cover with you? Yeah, let's do it. And I thought he would tell me no. You know, right. I was like, can't do it. But we, we ended up having Skip on the cover, holding a bat with the other coaches, uh, Coach Sherman from uh, uh, Delgado and, and, and also the top coaches in the state. And He was, was big great. on building other other colleges programs he would we would travel and go to Tulane and UNO and he wanted other programs to build uh, their attendance I need to get money. you copies of that by the yeah. way well he, oh, yeah. he actually sure. called up a lot of the coach in the SEC and said instead of you guys flying here for one game and for us going there for one game let's do a three-game series and he's the guy that really brought that to the SEC he said it's going to be good for all of us because if we heighten competition we all get better and a lot of coaches is like, no, nah, I kind of like my own deal. And then he'd bring in Dynamite Man and blow him up you yeah. know, or something. Yeah. So that was always good. <laughs> Didn't he have the chicken, too? Yeah, that's, yeah, right. that's all yeah, Coach, Fraser's, Coach Fraser's influence on him. You know, He was coachable, too. You know, That's what's really cool about him. Too. That's uh, Guys, thanks for taking your time to be here. Mike, Papa John, Oscar, Sean Phil, Leo Honeycutt. It's hard to get everything in when you have three big-time guests, but I'm glad we were able to pull it off. And, Superior Grill, we want to thank them. We're going to get everybody gift certificates. Superior Grill. Nice. My wife's favorite restaurant. <laughs> and uh, they have a new location uh, in, on Highland Road and also in Government and in Shreveport for Oscar's Well, that's, that's the original was. That's right. They make yeah, a hell of a margarita. And New Orleans, okay. yes. They make a Great good restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll see you all week long. Uh, it goes statewide. It plays at different times at different stations. But look, we'll be back next week. I hope you enjoyed the show. You're watching Louisiana Football TV Magazine.